Okay, this is part two of the Stick Spider versus the St. Andrew's Cross Spider. The Stick Spider had unfortunately ventured into the St. Andrew's Cross web and there was a bit of a punch up between the two spiders. These two spiders lived in the same part of the garden up the side of our house. The St. Andrew's Cross Spider, it's an unusual spider because it sits in its web all day long. It's a very visible spider because of the style of web it has and the pattern it makes. The stick spider, or some may call it net casting spider or web throwing spider, is more of a nighttime spider and you sometimes have to look very carefully for them in the garden because they are very well camouflaged because they just look like a stick. And being like a stick in nature can often be a very awesome thing. One thing I did notice about the St Andrew's Cross Spider, which was living very conveniently right near the side of our house, is that anything that got caught in the web was basically cactus. It's a very reactive spider. Critters that get caught in the web are quickly captured and the next thing that goes on is they are bound in stacks of spider web. And not long after that in comes that lovely kiss of death, which is a spider bite. And I notice it's also a very fastidiously clean spider. It will clear its web of things that it's captured. And once its web sustains a little bit of damage, it will remake its web. It tends to do this in the early hours of the morning in a time when its predators are not around. And the things that are predatory to this spider are birds and wasps. I'm saying all this babble because hopefully it fulfills an educational component for this video once it gets demonetized. So once the St Andrew's Cross and Stick Spider had their tussle, things started to settle down. There was a lot less movement in the web and I put a camera on both the spiders because I could see there was a massive stalemate setting up. This was all happening in the afternoon. In fact, the sun was starting to set, although there was still a fair bit of light left in the day. On part one of this video, I asked the audience which spider is going to win this battle and... Most of the people, and you can see their comments while we're talking here, were saying the St. Andrew's Cross Spider has got this completely wrapped up. Yes, I know, sorry for the spider pun. Because what people witnessed in part one was a spider that was very reactive to whatever was in the web. There was one person who said it was going to go the other way, and that was the YouTuber called Winton Knight. And there's one thing I know, and that is Winton Knight is very spider savvy. So in this stalemate, what I was witnessing was a St. Andrew's cross spider that was waiting out for something to move, but the stick spider was, well, playing like a stick. The St. Andrew's cross web was decaying because of all of the activity from before, and the two spiders were getting lower and lower into the garden. In fact, the stick spider was getting much closer to its normal place in the garden. Now what I think I was witnessing was the St. Andrew's Cross Spider was actually eating its own web and that's the way it can reuse the proteins in that silk when it makes its web. And while the St. Andrew's Cross Spider was doing this, it was actually freeing up the Stick Spider. So all the Stick Spider had to do, and it was very simple, was act like a stick. Do not make any moves because as soon as it started to move, the St. Andrew's Cross Spider would go back into capture mode. And like a spider miracle, when that stick spider felt like it could make an escape, well guess what? It did. In fact that escape was so miraculous, let's watch it again in slow motion. Oh yeah, stick spider is free. Always expect the unexpected now. As for where the stick spider has gone, well my crikey Charlie's, it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack down here. It could be anywhere, it could be right in front of me, but it's, because it looks like a stick, they're very hard to see. I'll be honest with you, I reckon it's done the B-O-L-T, and I would have done the bolt as well if I was caught up near that St. Andrew's Cross body. I suppose when you look like a stick, you can hide out really well when there's something after you, and I haven't got a hope in finding this spider now. That was completely and utterly fascinating watching that. Uh, the St. Andrew's Cross spider is really showing to me what an amazing spider it is, and I always thought it was one of the most boring spiders in the garden, but man, how wrong was I with that. Stunning spider, very, very interesting. Now well, that spider should work for Amazon, the way it can wrap things up like that. Just stunning. I'd say that's a spider bite going in there. Even I can feel that one. 
That's not the kiss of life. That one there is the kiss of death. Often you'll see the spider, it'll wrap something up. Its bite does whatever it does to the critter. And the St Andrew's Cross will wait it out in the middle of the web until it's ready to properly feed on whatever it's caught. There's no escaping that web made fortress. That little bug is dinner. This is a little while later and as always the St Andrew's Cross will take the feed to the centre of the web. And it seems to be the most comfortable spot for these spiders as they hang out during the day trying to not look like a spider. Yes, the St Andrew's Cross spider, very much a regular spider in our garden. It's one that I really didn't take much notice of until this year. And I do wonder whether the stick spider is still about. I tell you what, it's learned a lesson. Don't come near this spider here. It would have been a territorial conflict yesterday. I don't think the stick spider came out of that very well. What I can see here is St Andrew's Cross has got that beautiful moth. Nicely coloured moth too. And it's still wriggling and jiggling in the web there. But uh, that's going to be a very, very nice dinner for tonight. Let's just hope that was educational enough for today's YouTube. I do have to tack on just a little bit more about this spider up the end of the video here. Totally stunning spider, but unfortunately just after I shot the stick spider video, it was about three days later, I came out one morning expecting to see the web remade fresh because the St Andrew's Cross spider often makes its web fresh for the morning and the spider had gone. I thought, oh, maybe it's down in the garden, it will reappear. Unfortunately, the spider never came back. And the conspiracy theories about its sudden disappearance will echo on forever.